Hello everyone, Erica here with you and I have a fabulous unboxing for you for the Doodlebug Design Creative Team. I have this gorgeous new collection Over the Rainbow with me and I cannot wait to share it with you. It's so colorful, so cute. You guys are going to love it. I'm so, so excited. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the Shadow Box Insert Kit. These are really, really fun. Comes with everything you need to create the Shadow Box Inserts and the directions are so easy. And there's like the little X's on there, tells you where to pop everything up with the foam dot. Has all the pieces in there to create this beautiful piece. You can use it to put in the shadow box. I have used it on the center of a 12 by 12 scrapbook layout, and I've also seen it done um, as a mini album cover. So you don't just have to use it for the shadow box insert. Uh, make sure you check out the Doodlebug Instagram and Facebook. Um, and their blog to check out inspiration using the shadow box kit. Okay, I'm gonna start with all of the gorgeous papers and then we will get into all of the embellishments and all of the goodies in this collection. So I'm gonna set this all to the side and then we will go through the beautiful 12 by 12 papers that are just bursting with color and happiness. I'm so, so excited. Look at all of these icons. Love the rainbows. There's a little fox in there, sun, the bunny. So this is perfect for just so many things. It's not just one, like one St. Patrick's or one spring or something like that. So you can use it for so many different things. And one of the things that I love to do is kind of think outside the box with collections and use them in a different way. So if you have a birthday coming up that um, you do like a rainbow theme. So one of my daughters or my only daughter uh, for one of her birthdays, she wanted like rainbow everything. So rainbow, we did like cake pops and the cake push up pops and uh, rainbow dip strawberries. This would be a perfect collection to document her birthday because of all of the rainbow color. I did a rainbow balloon garland. Look how gorgeous this is. I need like 20 sheets of this. I love when they do the rainbow stripe. Oh, it's like my favorite. This one is called Over the Rainbow. This needs to be like framed because it's so pretty. And then you have this super sweet paper with all of these shamrocks called Lucky Me. And I love that they did this um, instead of just doing like one St. Patrick's collection, one spring collection, they kind of mix it together and it's just a lot of fun. So you do have like St. Patrick's sayings, like my lucky charm, but then you also have some really fun florals and things that can be used for spring and then things that can just be used for anything. Everyday photos. This one is Flower Garden. Love all of these little florals, the butterflies. The back side. Oh, another rainbow stripe, this time with some white. This one is called Shine Bright. Another favorite, I love this one. And then I love these jumbo tags. These would be perfect to create a tag mini album. They are the perfect size. And I think I'm gonna have to do that because look how cute they are. Add some stitching around them, punch holes, put a binder tab in there, add your photos, embellishments, and it's all good. This is the rainbow one, yeah. This one is called Mini Mushrooms. Super cute little mushrooms. And then of course the Doodlebug Cut Apart Sheets. I love those. The sprinkles of color. Super cute dot. And then the back side you have the cards, look how cute he is. So lucky your mind. Oh, so lucky your mind, not mind. Um, this adorable rainbow 
it's a rainbow kind of day and then you have these sayings that you can cut apart spring garden mushrooms florals or some shamrocks in there and the cute little bugs Then the back side, that's so pretty. I love a paper like this to mat my layouts on. I do use a lot of white bases, um, like matted on a color, and then I like to have something colorful as the 12 by 12 base. <gasps> this paper, oh my goodness, Rainbow Wishes. This is adorable. I love this print. That is so cute. I'm gonna have a hard time cutting into that one. And then this one is all of the clouds. Then this one is Ladybug Picnic. Love that dot. I love a big polka dot. And then you have all of these great cut aparts. This is adorable right here on the tractor. Sending lots of love your way. I love it. And this little box right here, he's so cute. We wish you the best. Okay, this one is Gnome Sweet Gnome. Adorable little gnome with little mushrooms. And then the back side, all those little hearts. Love this color. This one is Mini Meadow. And then this great green with white mini dot. I love that green too, so pretty. All of the amazing doodlebug tags. This one's called Just For You. And I just love the variety of tags on this sheet. So cute. Then the back side, you have tags as well, but these are just plain tags ready for you to stamp on, add die cuts, stickers, journaling, all kinds of things with really colorful tops. And then of course the 12 by 12 sticker sheet that I absolutely love, love it. Love all the borders. So if I can never have enough borders and enough tabs. And I say this, I think every time I do a Doodlebug unboxing video that I want like a whole row of just the tabs because I love them. But they have started adding more tabs inside of the die cut packs. I did notice that. So that is a plus. And then I always love these words. The first thing to go from this 12 by 12 sticker sheet for me is always these tabs. They always go. First thing. I'm always bummed because I use the three like right away. And then these words, they always go so fast but so many great pieces on here. These are really great for cards to put on fronts of cards. Okay, now, those are all the papers. I'm just gonna move them up and we will go through all of the embellishments. Let's start with the six by six paper pad, which are my favorite, always my favorite. I say this over and over again. I get so much use out of smaller paper pads and I like to use a lot of cut files and I like to use a lot of dies and punches and I love the smaller prints. You can definitely back a cut file with a 12 by 12 paper but sometimes you lose some of the pattern especially if it's a larger pattern um, and when you have the smaller print it just shows better through the cut file. I just I just love a cut file, or not a cut file, but a six by six pad. I do love a cut file, but I love my six by six pads. I will always pick a six by six over a 12 by 12. If I have to make a choice, I'm going to pick a six by six. So you're going to get all of the wonderful patterns that are in the 12 by 12, but in the smaller scale. I love these, and these go so quick for me too. I need like two or three of those. Okay. 
Okay, the 6x12 Icon stickers. Another favorite. I just love the size of these. I just love these so much. Super cute. This cloud with the rainbow is so cute. The little mushroom homes. Adorable. A new favorite for me are these puffy stickers. They're just adorable. Clouds, suns, mushrooms, shamrocks, tiny little puffy hearts. Look at all of those hearts. The rainbows, shamrocks. So flippin' cute. The mini icon stickers, you get two different sheets. And I love the size of these mini stickers as well. I love to have little icons and things peeking out like around my cut files and these work really, really well. So I always love using these. We'll go through here. We have some washi tape, the rainbow washi tape over the rainbow and then spring has sprung. This is so cute. I think I'm going to need some more of this. Look at this, all of those rainbows. And then spring has sprung. The Just Charming clip and keychain. This is probably my favorite of all of the charms that they've released so far. This one is so cute. And then the little pin that I got is the little gnome. We have shape sprinkles. This one is spring garden. Little ladies. The rainbow assortment dots. Lots of luck. Oh, over the rainbow. Look at that. Oh, those are so cute. And then the mini jewels in the rainbow assortment. These are my favorite. Oh, I love those so much. And then some pops. Love the pops. This one is, look at him. He's got these little florals around him. This one is so lucky. I'm going to need a couple of those. This is another favorite. Look at this one. Rainbow Bright. I love that name. Gnome Sweet Gnome. Happy Go Lucky. Garden Gnome. Look at the little apron with the rainbow on it. And then Hello Sunshine. Love this one. Definitely going to need to get some more of these. These two are my favorite. And then this one. <laughs> So cute. I love them all, but these are my faves. We do have some dies, some standalone cuts. These will be really fun to play with. These are the Nomies. So build your own little gnomes. Um, standalone doodle cuts, spring garden. These florals would be so cute to die cut out of these doodle bug papers. I love their standalone cuts. And then the stamp set is called Gnome Sweet Gnome. I cannot wait to see what the design team comes up with with these stamps. They're just gonna be so colorful. And there's the Gnome Sweet Gnome doodle cuts. We have some paper pads. I love these. I keep one in my kitchen and one in my office. And these are adorable. You can also use these in mini albums and layouts. We have the coordinating cards and envelopes in the rainbow assortment. These are fun to put together um, for some quick cards, but you can also use these to create mini albums with. And then the die cuts. We have the odds and ends, the bits and pieces, and the over the rainbow. I'm going to start with the bits and pieces and look at all of those tags and tabs. So 
I'm going to open these up. This is a great journal spot. A couple more journal spots. Great tags. All of these circles. I mean, how fun would it be just to put a layout together with just all of these circles, like just layered up and you can even do like circle photos, pop in some of those um, puffies and just do a fun vertical design on your page. That would be so fun. Some more tags. I love these journal spots. These you could use on a layout as well to create like a grid design or a vertical design, just going across your page, adding your photos to them. Super cute. Lots of tabs, which I love. And then you can add your own little um, oops, sayings at the top. Tons of fun colors and patterns. Love the rainbows. And we got some labels here. Again, I love those hearts. And then some of the tiny tags. And then there was a little gnome. There he is. Those are so cute. So those are the bits and pieces. And then the odds and ends. And there's so many in here. I'm not going to flip through all of them because there's 128 pieces in here. So I'm just gonna show you a few of them. How cute is he in the air balloon? Shamrocks, butterfly, florals, this adorable sun. Here's that little cutie patootie fox. Got some clouds in here. Let's see what else we got in here. Lots of little mushroom homes and gnomes, butterflies and clouds, rainbows, florals. So lots of pieces in here. All of the little bugs, some hearts. And I'll show you the back so you can have a look at those. Oh, I love this one right here, the rainbow hot air balloon. And then the chit chat pieces, there's 82 pieces in here. Another favorite, I love the chit chat pieces. So much fun. I love, oh my gosh, this one is so cute. And I'm going to apologize because I know I've said cute and adorable and like over and over again, but I just cannot help it because everything is <laughs> so cute. I love this chit chat piece, this title. It is, I love it so much. Memories, I love that because it's in black. Happy, magical, magical adventure. Gnome is where your heart is, family, thinking of you, trying to get all the big words. So the so could go with a happy 
or the lucky. Hello? Spring, you could do hello spring too. Oh, there's an us that will go with the lucky, right? Yeah, so lucky us, that's adorable. I think that's all the words. Yes, then of course, oh, look at this one. This is cute. It's a rainbow kind of day, a little cluster. Here are some more circles. This is cute. Again, like I said, with the other circles from the bits and pieces, really would be fun to create a vertical with just all these circle pieces. There's so many different pieces in this collection. Lucky and Blast, March 17th. So lots of chit chat pieces. Oh, there's a happy birthday one. That's perfect. I love that, that they threw that in there. Cutest clover in the patch, get out of town. That's adorable. To know you is to love you. You make me happy when skies are gray. This is so cute. I love that. There's no one like you, love you. So lots of great pieces in here. I love them all. Our little lady, you're the sweetest. All of the goodness in the chit chat pack. Let's set that there. And then I'll show you the back of the package. You guys are definitely gonna wanna pick this up. So cute. So that is all that I have for the, over the rainbow collection. There are coordinating petite prints um, and things like that that will coordinate perfect with this collection as well. I do not have that 12 by 12 pack, but there is one available. So I will leave products linked down below for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing and are excited for this collection. Can't wait to see what everybody creates with this. I've already seen some projects out there. I know Tracy has some things already um, up. So I'm really, really excited to get started with this collection. So I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys get some time to do something creative and I will see you later. Bye.